On Sunday we discovered that some of the parts were not functioning and others were missing. Knowing that our subcontractors were scattered all over the nation, when I arrived Monday morning everyone was in a state of panic. If truth could ever be told so that it is understood, it will be believed. It is my hope that I can make the truth of scripture so understandable you will believe it. But whether you do or not, one day you will, for scripture will fulfill itself in you and then you will understand it perfectly. Scripture speaks of two baptisms, baptism with the water of repentance, and baptism with the Holy Spirit. Paul tells us, I baptize with the water of repentance, but there will come one after me who is mightier than I. He will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now, repentance means a radical change of attitude towards life. If you change your thinking, and things in your outer world change, then you have been baptized with the water of repentance. A friend recently shared these experiences with me say, I am in the computer business. Every year we hold a convention, and this year our company chose to demonstrate a million dollar computer. It was delivered on a Friday, giving us three days to be ready for the show's opening the following Tuesday. On Sunday we discovered that some of the parts were not functioning and others were missing. Knowing that our subcontractors were scattered all over the nation, when I arrived Monday morning everyone was in a state of panic. Controlling my thoughts, I began to apply my imagination by claiming it was Tuesday morning and the computer was working perfectly. Then I checked the missing parts list and discovered that the company who manufactured the parts was located only 14 miles from the center. They delivered the parts at afternoon and by Tuesday morning the computer was functioning perfectly, just as I had imagined. One day an old computer which had been stored in our warehouse for some time, was sold. No one had checked to make sure it was operating properly, so on the day of the delivery I imagined everything was perfect. But as I checked it out, I discovered that two vital parts were missing and could not be found. That afternoon the salesman came in, picked up a little package not more than 10 feet from the computer and said, here are the parts. And he was right. Inside this little brown package were the missing parts that seemingly were not there before. Here is a man who has been baptized with water by psychologically applying the truth. Truth first appears as a stone. That is when everything is done literally. The head of a bull is cut off, and sacrifices are made to a god on the outside. Water comes from the stone when the literal facts take on psychological meaning. Then the water turns into the wine of spiritual truth, through experience. One must see the whole vast world as a psychological drama. You may think you have never committed adultery, but the moment you lust after anything, the stage is set by your imaginal act. Restraining the impulse is not good enough, the moment you have the impulse to steal, the act is committed. The impulse to hurt is the act of hurting. You may be afraid to carry out any act, but when the impulse appears, the act is committed. Once you understand this, you will forgive all. For there is only one Son, who you are, doing your Father's will. In the third chapter of the book of Matthew, John states, I baptize with the water of repentance. Repentance tests your ability to enter into and partake of the nature of the opposite. When you see another in one, you repent by persuading yourself he is affluent. To the degree you can believe this truth you bathe in the baptismal prime waters. Only when you act and prove repentance, in performance, are you baptized in the true sense of the word? The baptism with the Holy Spirit is something entirely different. While living by the law of repentance, you will be called to unite into a single body, who is God. In the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians we are told that, by one spirit we are baptized into one body. When this baptism happened to me, I had the sensation of being taken for a long, long journey. I found myself standing in front of the risen Lord, who asked me the simple question. What is the greatest thing in the world? I answered as though promoted from some depth of my own being, saying, faith, hope and love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. With these words, the risen Lord embraced me and we became one being. No mortal I can see the body of God I wear, but I feel it, for I wear it every moment of time. Now, when I tell my story some will resist me, for they are still filled with their own preconceived misconceptions of Christ. But I know that one day everyone will be embraced by this one spirit, thereby being baptized into the one body of Christ.